John, you mentioned a couple of days ago about Tex being a ball of energy and having to slow down at times offensively. But defensively, do you feel like he's learning the defensive responsibilities that it comes with being a center? And can some of that learning maybe be made up with how hard he skates? He's learning. Um, it, it's, it's a work in progress as far as his reads and responsibilities of that position. It, it's a position that uh, there's a lot of things that come into play defensively. So uh, does he make mistakes? Yes. Um, but he slowly but surely, I think that's a big part of the coaching staff's responsibility is to teach that part of the game. Uh, very receptive, very coachable. Uh, he'll get better at it. The first goal he allowed last night, he kind of jumped up and missed a poke check and that led to a three on two. Is that a play you want him to make or to be no. more disciplined? He can't dive in. He, he, he's, and, and that's, you know, it's easy for me to rewind and, and pick it apart after the game because these are split second decisions, but he's just kind of going to do the math a little bit in front of him. Uh, it's an odd man rush if he doesn't swing out of there and just join our coverage as far as coming back to our end zone. He can't step up and, and, and try to get all or, all or nothing. And what he did, he got nothing, the puck or player. And then there's an odd man rush. So those are the things that, uh, that tape work helps, uh, experience going through it helps. Uh, he's so receptive and such an intelligent guy. Uh, he'll, he'll get that cleaned up very quickly. Next, we'll go to Aaron Port's line. Go ahead, Porty. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, John. John, you hope to handle the Dubois situation the same way you handled and Aaron Bobrovsky, just sort of transparency, meet it, confront it. They're, they're different situations. Is it? Do you still think it's possible to handle them the same way and, and keep a healthy situation? Well, again, I, I, I'll give you an answer. I don't want to get too involved in it. They're different situations. Brett and Bob, their contracts are out, are done. Right. They have a perfect, they have a right to go to free agency. Uh, Two players, uh, even after the, the meeting we had, uh, played their ass off that year. Uh, two great pros. Uh, and so that, that, that elephant in the room was cleaned up very quickly, and they were pros, and they played. Uh, this situation, it's a, it's a, a younger player, not free agency. Uh, it's it's want, you know, wanting out, and, um, and it, it falls on the player and how he handles the situation. We... Uh, We've been honest. We've had the meeting, uh, uh, but it, then it comes down to the play. I know you're going to ask me a lot of questions. Let, let me let me just explain something to you. What is my responsibility as a coach of this team for all players? Uh, in fact, I've even given most of the X's and O's to Lars and Shazi because this is an all-consuming job with the athletes, the the different type of athletes we have right now in you know, a little bit of the prima donna uh, type stuff that goes on and not waiting your turn for situations on the ice, not waiting your turn in the locker room. My job is, and I think it's a very important one I take very seriously, is to monitor attitude, effort. Uh, what type of teammate are you? Uh, will you play under a team concept, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, I think it's really important with today's athlete that we watch that daily. And, and I do, I do. And uh, as I said last night, Portsy, spotlight's on here because of the situation that arose when camp started. I, I don't think it's a really big deal uh, as far as the spotlight because it doesn't change how I go about that part of it. Uh, he is another player in a 23 man roster that I have to watch. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what you when you were drafted, free agent, fourth line, first line. It does not matter to me. We live and die on our team concept. Uh, we live and die playing as a team. And if I don't think someone is doing that and it continues, it, last night he doesn't get benched for one shift of last night. This, this has eroded, and, and it, it, it just kept on eroding in the first five games. And I think a lot of people are putting a, a, a bigger deal to it because of the, the extenuating circumstances with it. You guys can do that. I'm just coaching athletes, and I will not allow our standard of play and our culture and how we go about our business here 
change and we got to keep on growing because that's how we have survived in this league and trying to be a better team in this league and getting into playoffs and hopefully someday progressing in playoffs. John, can you so that say, should cover all the questions, I would think. Yeah, yeah. It, just curious, did the, did the events of last night, did that prompt another team meeting this morning? Did you feel No, like there's no more meetings. There's, no, we, 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 we didn't, you know, there's no more meetings. The rhetoric is done. Uh, yeah, the, the, you, you, can, you can have meetings to have meetings and follow through. Rhetoric is rhetoric. Actions are what I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, and, and again, th this isn't just with Luke, it's everybody. And everybody understands that. And uh, as long as I'm here, I am not letting that slide because that is how we are able to stay uh, in, in, and grow as a team here. And uh, uh, we don't have the superstars. Uh, it's a small market. Uh, a lot of things come with this. But when you play as a team, as we have progressed the past three or four years and understanding that, then you start growing as a team. Not one person is going to try to affect that and bring us down from that standard. I won't allow it. And uh, yeah, so uh, let, let's move by it. You, you can talk to Luke and I, and I hope he, he, he has something to say, but that's how I feel about that situation and which is not different than any other player. And, and there may be another player come down a couple more weeks here. So uh, let's get on with it here. Next, we'll go to Jeff Svoboda. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, George, you've talked a lot about manufacturing energy so far this year, and you make a move today to bring up uh, Gerby, and he seems to be an energy guy. Is that what you're looking for out of him? Yeah, we're going to our, our lineup's going to change tomorrow a little bit. I'm still not exactly sure what it is. I got to check on. Uh, like we were supposed to have a full skate today, uh, but we're you know we're we're a little nicked up uh, here, so we're going to see how the rest of the day brings us. Uh, uh, as far as health, and uh, we'll give you the lineup tomorrow morning, but Gerbs is probably going to be in. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Dan Rosen. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, John. Uh, I'm almost hesitant to ask you this because you did just cover a lot of that. Um, Don't ask, Dan. But there is just one extra follow-up that I wanted to ask you, and it's the idea of you talk about how this is about the team and this needs to be about the team. Is this situation sustainable for the team, or does it have to get resolved soon? No, our, our, our team, the, the, and I don't want to separate Luke from the team. Our, our team can handle this situation. I mean, it's, it's a, we already had our video session. Our team came in and it's work. It's not going to affect them. It, it depends on the player that we're talking about, how he handles the situation. Again, I... I can't express enough to you how different it is from a Brett and Bob to what, how he has gone about his business. And I have to make decisions accordingly to that. That, That's all this is. And, and again, I know there's a, a huge spotlight on it and I get you guys have to uh, probe him and I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can. I'm not gonna have a running conversation on this on conversations that I have with Luke or how we're going about in the room. I just wanna kind of give you a general idea so we can move by this, how we do it here. And because it's Luke and because of some of the talk around him that entering camp, it's turned into a big thing. Expect it, totally get it guys. But it doesn't change how we think here. It doesn't change. We hold people accountable uh, and we're gonna continue to do that because we will not survive uh, as this group here uh, if we don't. And uh, I, I am, I am going to monitor that, and I'm, and I'm very honest about that with the players, and they know that's how we go about it. Thanks, John. Appreciate the honesty. You bet, Danny. Next, we'll go to Mark Scheig. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you, Todd. John, um, I saw that um, Bemmer went back to the taxi squad. I know he was one of the several players that has had a bit of a rough start to the year. What are you still looking for with him? Yeah, yeah. I, I talked with Bemmer this morning, and uh, we know it's there. Uh, you know, I, I watched some video of him. Yarmo sent me some video this summer when he was playing in Finland. Uh, we know it's there. He, he just lacks confidence. And uh, I, don't want to talk, I, 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 I don't want to talk to you about what I said to Bemmer, but I will tell you this. I need to handle Bemmer differently than I did last year uh, to try to help him. I, I, I grinded a bit on him, uh, uh, and, and I don't think it helps him. I really don't. And 
I, I want to try to help him. We want to try to help him. So he needs to step away. Uh, we already have a video set up for him. Uh, Brad Larson's going to sit with him uh, on Monday. We're, we're just trying to get ready for a game, and, and Sunday will be a day off. So Monday he'll sit with him. We think it'll help him. And we hope he comes back into the lineup and something good happens for him. Uh, uh, I, I will say this, that we can, we can chip out his defensive mistakes, and there's some mistakes there, but we need to try to relax him offensively and, and let him play uh, because there's offense there. But he's, he's struggling with the puck. I, I think he's thinking too much. So he can step away. I think it does young guys tremendous good to watch games and maybe watch players uh, uh, that he emulates or wants to emulate and then and do some tape work with them and hopefully get back in there and something good happens for him. Thank you, John. You bet. Next, go back there in Port's line. Go ahead, Porty. Thanks, Todd. Hey, John, every game is a division game this year. So shootout losses, overtime losses are more, all of them are more damaging in that you're giving a point or both the points to the team in your division. Does that just make the taste of a, of an overtime loss or shootout loss more difficult to swallow? Yeah. I, last night, I, I just, you know, there's been a few overtime losses that you have. I, I just, I just think the play is defendable. I, I just want it earned a little bit better. Yeah. That point just kills us. And, uh, uh, and he's one hell of a player. Uh, he, he is a thorn in our side in those type of situations and and really right on through the games we've played. But that's a defendable play. And I'm not criticizing, but I just don't like those easy ones. Uh, I, I do. I'm looking, you know, I'm looking half full. Uh, uh, we have we haven't gotten points in two of our first five games. I'll put it to you that way. And uh, do we have to get wins in the, in the columns? Yes. But uh, last night we took a much better step forward than the god awful game we played in Detroit. Uh, hopefully we can play a better game uh, tomorrow night and find a way to get two points. Can you say with certainty at this hour, if Pierre-Luc Dubois will, will be dressed for tomorrow's game, do you plan to play him? I am, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the lineup. Like I said, I'll, I'll give you guys a lineup in plenty of time uh, before the two o'clock start. I got to look at injuries. Uh, I'm still looking at tape. Uh, we've been, very busy with some other parts of a game. And now I'm watching individual play of players. So uh, we'll give you a lineup tomorrow. Okay. Thanks.